Good morning, Monday morning. This is my first day using the new mic. Pretty excited about the Rode Video Mic Pro from B&H. Very excited about it. Heading now to Jerusalem to start today. I actually got some errands to do there in the Home Talk building, coincidentally. Following that, going to Serona Market to meet a guy named Eric from Sinai Ventures, a VC from the States who was introduced to me via my favorite CEO and one of my good friends, Clark Valberg, CEO of Envision big fan. Following that, meeting Kevin from Reimagine Ventures, an old friend who recently started a new VC. You saw him last week at the uh, NOAA conference. So back-to-back VC meetings and then some other meetings in Tel Aviv. All in all, a pretty great day. Tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be a little bit intimidating, but also pretty awesome. I'm emceeing the futureofai.com conference. It's an all-day conference there, and uh, it's going to be some great networking. All right, off to Tel Aviv. Here we go. Made it to one of my favorite places here in Tel Aviv, the Serona Market. First meetings in 20 to 25 minutes, which means time to get some cool B-roll here in Serona. It's a beautiful place. I'm waiting for this Eric Reiner guy to come, who's a VC uh, from Sinai VC, who you're going to meet in the Sinai VC. Yeah, these guys? Cool. Sinai. No. Yeah. So uh, uh, Clark introduced me to him. Uh, so okay. any introduction from Clark is like... Anyway, so I'm sitting here, and this is, this is the thing with Israeli tech. This is the thing with the Israeli ecosystem. You just sit around, and you meet people, just like normal, like they're walking around like they're normal people, but really, they're, they're kind of a big deal. And this is an example. Hanan Brand. Who are you, Hanan Brand? Hi. I'm Hanan, a Jerusalemite. Jerusalem. Uh, I love that that's how you identify yourself. I love yeah, it. Yeah, that's the first thing. That's great. Um, I'm a VC for the last 10 years, worked for a few funds over high tech and then um, JVP for a few years. The first per- the first thing anyone's thinking right now is how did this guy work in VC for 10 years? He looks like he's 10. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 33. 33. Okay. Started in uh, 2007 so at you were, the Ofer, you, Ofer Brothers. You were a VC before it was cool to be a VC. It was always cool to be a VC. That's true. Okay. The best job in the world. You meet people, you get lectures all day. You, but that's not people. fair because then when people say things like that, then people who are watching think like being a VC is easy. It's not easy. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not easy. When well, long term, it's not easy. You got to return your fund, and that's not easy. But anyway, yeah, go on. After all, for yeah, brothers, the hard yeah. part is not really to choose which companies. It's uh, the work after you invest. It's there you go. How do you create value for your startup? You gotta, we got to find another word for creating value because I feel like that's overused. Overused. Yeah. Everyone says oh, creating value. We got to come up with another word. We'll figure it out. Okay. Make money. Well, no, because it's not. It's beyond making money. But anyway, by the way, can you? I don't know if you guys can tell that the sun is blazing on my face right now, and I was like, I'm wearing a hoodie. What am I thinking? I'm not really sure. But anyway, yeah, go on. Two and a half years ago, we established a new fund. It's called Cornerstone Venture Partners. Uh, we have investors from the US and Europe. The fund size is around 25 million, first fund. Uh, we invested in eight companies in the last uh, wow. year and a half. That's yeah, now company number eight. Wow. I'm planning to do another five, six uh, in, Jeez, the year, in the next year and a half. Do you sleep? Um, no, sleep is for losers. Right? I don't hear that. I'll sleep after 120 years. What's the uh, website? Cornerstonevc.com? Cornerstonevp. VP. Okay. Um, we do early stage uh, B2B, B2B companies, so mainly software. Okay. Um, some of our I don't know, notable companies, so Axonize, Valuto, User First, uh, DBSH, ah. Texel. That's pretty impressive, man. Uh, uh, impressed. Check size, average check size between half a million to a million. Then we keep another half a million to a million for the follow on. You know, we, you know how the person watching this or the people watching this can tell that we know each other for a long time? Because you know exactly what I'm going to ask you. Yeah. They're like answering my questions before I even ask them. I love it. It's awesome. Where's your, uh, where are you based? Here in Toronto? No, so I have an office in Jerusalem. Cool. Uh, the fund is based in New York, actually. So my partner is in New York. We have another principal that is based in LA. Wow. And one, now we're hiring an associate here in Tel Aviv. So it's four people in four different locations. It's, it's a relatively, I mean, $25 million is a lot of money, but it's a relatively small fund. Yeah, it is. It's the first fund. Um, and we believe it's actually the right size for, for early stage fund. Um, it's not so, you know, not to exaggerate, but it's not so hard to, to return the fund. At least, you know, one good return of 100 million, you don't need a unicorn right. to return the fund. Most people don't think that way. It's conservative thinking. It's responsible. Yes, that's the goal. The goal is to return our fund. Uh, there is great funds in Israel that did the same, like Lilot Capital. Their first fund was less than 30. Lilot's amazing. You know, they're uh, you know, the dream of everyone. And, uh, Are you having fun? Yeah. It's the most important thing. 
and meeting cool companies, pulling capital, helping the companies. Meeting Hillel in the middle of the day. You go and uh, sweating in a, in a, in a hoodie. Today and is hot. It's like August I don't know here. what the heck I was thinking. I want to go back today. to Jerusalem. Oh my God. It's probably nice in Jerusalem. I just actually came from there. I, I run some errands there this morning. But anyway, listen, man, you, you're kicking butt. That's the bottom line. I've been, I've been following your career for a long time. And, uh, you know, like you're, you're not, I, I was going to say you're up and coming, but you're not even up and coming anymore. You're just, you're just there. Come. Been, yeah, you're there. It's I love it, man. still have a lot to prove and uh, important. He sent my email. Feel free to send me deck. That's what I was about um, to ask. So you keep answering my questions. What, 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 you know, you just like fire me and just like do my job for me. You're answering all my questions. If somebody wants to send you a deck, how do they do that? With the email, a few words about the company, presentation. I promise to respond. So it's Hanan, H A N A N. H A N A N. At cornerstonevp.com. Love it. Joseph, put his email right there. Yeah. Send the guy's email. Listen, send him an email if you think it's relevant. I mean, not if I have an idea on a napkin, unless you're investing at that yeah, stage. Probably. probably. Right? You, minimal traction, yeah. I'm assuming. Software, hard tech, or not only? Not only. Okay, send them, send them your deck. But make a good deck. You know, it's your, it's your face. It's, it's the only thing you got at this point. So make sure it's a good email. And uh, he answers emails. That's the truth. Yeah. I can vouch for him. Awesome, man. Great running okay. into you. Thanks. Stick around. I'm going to introduce you to this guy after meeting after. You should sure. meet him. All right, man. Cool. Thanks. This is officially my first interview on the new, the new Rode Video Mic Pro. So amazing. I'm looking at the... Amazing. Was that a, was that a product uh, shout-out? Uh, yeah. I'm, just, I'm giving it a couple of shout-outs. This thing's amazing. I'm, I'm, uh, the fact that it turns on is just like... Okay, anyway. Love it. All right, so... I've said this many times on the vlog before. There are not many people that when they say jump, I jump. Yep. But Clark Valberg is one of them. When Clark Valberg says anything, I stop what I'm doing and I listen. And, and, and that's not only because the guy is one of the hottest CEOs in tech. Yep. I mean, Envision is, what their, their growth is astronomical. Forget that. The guy is a uber, uber mensch. Absolutely. Super duper amazing guy. Like, makes time for people, not only, you know, even normal people, plain people like me, not even like hot shots like you, we'll talk about you in a second, but he's just like a really good guy. So last week, Clark introduced me to you. I didn't have very much context, but again, when Clark makes an intro, I don't need context. And I'm happy he did, because very interesting story, I have to say. Who are you? My name is Eric Reiner. I'm a partner at Sinai Ventures. Uh, we are a brand new fund focused on the US and Israel, um, investing mostly in early stage enterprise software and uh, some consumer technology companies. And where we can really help is uh, helping companies, especially Israeli, find their way to the US. And, and within the US, uh, we can be helpful in other, other intros to other firms, intros to corporates. Um, we have a pretty cool advisory board, which- uh, well, we'll, get we'll get there, we'll get there. Hold on one second, hold on one second. How many <laughs> coffees have you had today? Hold on, you're like, you're, you're, you've got a lot of ground to cover here, but let's just talk a little background here because okay. it's important context. Yeah. Who's your dad? My dad is Gary Reiner. He's a very special, special soul and, and person. Uh, he was the CIO of GE and now uh, spends his time investing at, at General Atlantic. So he's at a caliber that I would say maybe there's 20 people in the entire world at that caliber in the tech world. I, I would say so, yeah. I mean, he's, he's also he's a, as a as a person. Well, I don't know him yet. Yeah. But as 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 a tech entity, yeah. there's there's not many people on his level. So, so you grew up in the tech. I grew world. up around that. Love it. Okay, you've had your, I mean, you're, how old are you? 26. 26 years old. Yeah, I know he looks very young. He is very young. <laughs> but you've had quite a few years in the VC, in the VC world yourself. That's right. What's so, your uh, first of all, my first uh, dive into the VC world is here in Israel with, uh, with the Tango, uh, where I interned while I was studying abroad. I then moved to New York and worked at Insight Venture Partners, one of the largest venture capital firms in the world. They, they invested in WalkMe, right? They did invest in WalkMe. They also invested in Wix. They also invested in Checkmark, some amazing wow. Israeli companies. Wow. Among, obviously, a, a, a myriad of companies from They're massive. Insight is like top, top, top. Amazing firm. Shout out to Insight. Wouldn't be here without them. And then I, I had the opportunity to work at Dynamic Yield, which is just that away. The founder, Liad uh, Agmon and, and Omri Mendelevich, where I helped build out the, the channel sales and uh, helped with, with fundraising and, and board management as well. You've done a lot for 26 year olds. You know, I do my best. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay, and so then how long ago did you start this fund? Sinai? About six months ago. What is the, what's the website, by the way? Sinai vc.com sign it why not sign it vc vc.com uh, makes sense yeah we, I, I don't like the non.com uh, all right i hear that yeah so sign it vc.com okay yeah. and so you started how long ago sorry six months ago six months ago yeah. it is a 90 million dollar fund that's right investing focus on enterprise early stage though a relatively yes, early stage exactly but you do write relatively significant size checks yep we can we try to be as friendly as possible and you know, we, we put our money where our mouth is in that regard, so feel free to give me a call and, and I'll prove it to you. Okay, so here's, I'm gonna try to say this, I'm walking on eggshells here, I'm trying yeah. to be very diplomatic here, but to me, we're sitting for what, like a half an hour, but I could, yeah. I could already tell you
you right now, if you are an entrepreneur looking for a VC that is on your side, I'm gonna repeat that, a VC that's on your side, not on the other side of the table, but on your side, send this guy your deck if, if you match the criteria that they're looking for. Do you, you could say no, by the way, you could totally say no. But yeah. Would you Would you feel comfortable giving your email here for people to send Absolutely, you Eric at SinaiVC.com. So that's E-R-I-C? Yep. At SinaiVC, S-I-N-A-I-V-C.com. That's right. Send the guy your deck if it's relevant, don't just bombard him. But the bottom line you bombard is, me. You're, you're two partners. We're two so partners, and we have, fast. and we have a we have a team. I mean, so we have a we have a team of, of five total amazing people. And the cool thing is, because we have a team, we actually spend a lot of our team's energy on helping our, our portfolio companies. Love that. Love that. And the, the bottom line is, you're here in Israel for the next how long? We're, I'm here for two months, and I'll be back and forth basically. Oh, for, oh, holy smokes! What's up, man? How are you? No, you see you. Yeah, we met. Come here, come here, come here. Get, don't come get. Come here. <laughs> So this is with Tel Aviv. You sit here, you guys like Yossi Tagori walk by. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> How are you? This is the cutest guy in tech. I love this. How are you? Guy. Good. How are you? Good to see you. Good Great to see, see you, man. You should yeah. come to the Samsung more often. I would get to see you and Orly. Yeah. You I'm, good? I'm inside. You know, every time I see you, you say we should catch up for coffee, and you say yes, we should catch up for coffee, and we have. You a don't drink coffee. coffee. I don't drink coffee. Okay, so let's do steak. I'll, yeah, I'll take one for the I, team. I'm vegetarian. Are you really? Yeah. You know, we That's had a perfect. we had a call, and this guy works so hard. It was Friday night, his time. Yeah. Yo 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 yo. Shabbos. Shabbos. I said. I said, I said, I really don't like to do calls with Israel when it's Friday night his time. He said, don't worry, I always do this. That's yeah, that's we have to catch up soon. Yeah. I'm serious, man. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Good to see you, man. See you, man. I love it. I love it. I love you. I love it. Yeah, they just walked out. Um, so you're here in two mo- for two months in Israel doing yeah. what? Just kind of inculcating myself with the Israeli ecosystem. Great word. Um, yeah, I love that word. Meeting Israeli entrepreneurs, meeting different people within the ecosystem from the big companies. Uh, really trying to find uh, companies that we can invest in and, and help uh, you know expand in the U.S. Is it fair to say that your interest in Israel is, is let's say twofold? One is amazing innovation here, but it's yeah. also your your desire to actually help this country and, sure. and deploy capital in Israel. Absolutely, I love that. Yeah, it's amazing. Listen, man. I said it to you offline, I'm going to say it to you online. Anything I can do to help, anything at all, I mean it. Our, our goals are completely aligned. We want to help this ecosystem scale. You have both the relationships, the knowledge, the expertise. I have the deal flow. I have entrepreneur. Let's just figure out how we can love it. collaborate on that. That's the bottom line. I love it. Good luck with everything. And it's fantastic. Clark, I love you, man. You knew that already. We right? love you, Clark. You're yeah. the man. Yeah. Let's not get so sappy here. Sappy. Anyway, all right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for coming, and I appreciate the time. And let's just figure out how we can work together. Love it. So my next meeting is in the cigar bar and restaurant here in Tel Aviv. This place is amazing. This place, where are we? Okay, uh, we are now in the Whiskey Museum of Israel. It's really interesting. And uh, not only that, they put a cigar lounge. It's something that's new and it's Love culture. It. And wait a second, and the, the, the restaurant's not open till 5 o'clock. Here, your, your food, right? Yeah. I can so, eat lunch here so now? now? Now you can eat here, so everybody that comes downstairs goes up to the Whiskey, to the cigar Love lounge. It. Amazing. Yes, it's really Fantastic. Good. What's your name? My name is Yami. Yummy? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Like one of my best friends, his name is Yummy. Really? I kid you not. His real name is Yummy. only one. No, his real name is Israel Moshe, but it goes by Yummy. Okay, so mine is Israel with the Tiao Nathan. Get the heck out of here. Yeah. So you go by Yummy. I love the Yummy. You hear that? That's pretty amazing. <laughs> awesome, man. Let's sit down. Show me, show me okay. the, 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 the menu. Let's see okay. what's going on here. Love it. Okay, we are finishing up here in the Whiskey Bar and Museum. How is that food? Excellent. Dude, excellent. Loved it. Like this place is called Whiskey Bar and Museum. There's whiskey, there's cigars, but the food here is outrageous. It's my new favorite spot in Serrano. I li- literally, it's got everything you want. We might have to do a monthly, but that's a topic for another time. Yes, All I right. think we'll have to. Who are you, man? Hey, very nice to meet you. Uh, Kevin, I've recently founded a new venture capital fund in Israel, which is focused on deep technologies driving the changes in the media landscape. Fairly broad, okay. right? Can be from consumer facing to e-commerce, marketplaces, and of course the traditional media uh, uh, world of advertising, video, uh, you know, new content creation, the automation what are you not of that. Gonna invest in. So I'm not gonna do cyber, I'm not gonna do biotech, um, you know, cool. uh, those things. All right, so you know, you're just getting started, you don't wanna talk too much about the fund. So let's That's leave right. it for our next interview. Excellent. Now let's talk for one second about you. Because you have a really fascinating story.
story. Where are you from originally? Thank you. So I was born and raised in Germany, believe it or not, and okay. spent the first uh, 16 years of my life there. Okay. Finished high school there with a brief break in the U.S., which really changed my life. I spent a year in Northern California at high school, and uh, that opened my eyes. And uh, basically, with the age of 17, I knew I had to, you know, had to leave Germany to explore Israel and the U.S. Let's just say, how do we say this <laughs> diplomatically? You did not feel that Germany was a place for a Jew. Correct. You say that? Is that Correct. Correct. Say? Correct. It's okay to say. Correct. Even if I get criticized no, for this. You know what? Listen, I, I today, think that's true. Y Europe is whatever. I'm not going to. I, I still have family go there. there. My parents are there. My brother is there. But I, I, yes, it wasn't for me for sure. I, I don't, I don't want to. Let's not even go there. It's, it's, it's a sore topic. All right. So you came here, and you've been came here heavily involved in the ecosystem here. Let's. Just, I mean, tell me some stuff you've done and some companies you've worked with here in Israel. Sure, absolutely. So initially, I was an entrepreneur here, right? I came back from right. Wall Street in 2009 with the with the startup that we uh, founded in New York, and um, quickly hired people. We quickly expanded. At one point, we had around uh, 50 people in our Sleepy Tour in 2009, 2013. So my first uh, taste was actually uh, coming back uh, as an entrepreneur and becoming part of the ecosystem as an entrepreneur and networking and meeting phenomenal people. And uh, Bill Guard started right next door to us. Oh, nice. So you just interviewed uh, your, your own, uh, your own yeah. Yeah, like three, two days ago. Love it. Yeah. What a phenomenal guy. By the way, let me just point one thing out. You have, there's a lot of things that differentiate you as a VC from other VCs, a lot of things. But that is one of them because very few VCs in this country have actually been an entrepreneur themselves. And that is super key for an entrepreneur raising money. They want to raise money from someone who knows the pain of entrepreneurship, of building startups, the pain, the challenges, etc. And that's actually really, there are some, you're not the only one, but but it, I would say it's the exception to the rule in Israel, at least, right. which is awesome. Not not the case in Silicon Valley, by the way, but the people like Mark and Juice and Ben Harwitz, you guys have multiple billion dollar, you know, um, journeys, so that's super cool. But in right. any case. That's all another philosophical discussion. Yeah, that's it, but, it's, but it is a very important point. Yes. Anyway, listen, the bottom line is like this. We, we've been kind of like connected in the ecosystem. I've been following your work. At the end of the day, right now, you're kind of taking all your expertise, all your knowledge, you know, let's say calling over to, call it going over to the dark side. Right. right. So I switched back to the dark side. So after we moved the startups back to New York, I started working with companies like Minute Media, uh, companies like uh, Ivy, uh, Lulee and Alex, and um, eventually met a German media conglomerate that was on a, on, a, on a brief trip to Israel, showed them around, they fell in love with Israel, and in 2014 I started uh, their investment office here, and we invested in companies like Dynamic Yield, Magisto, Watch It, uh, Minute Media, and we also made a fund investment. Every single one of those companies is a home run. Unbelievable. All right, I have two things to say to you. First thing I want to say to you is, if this VC thing doesn't work out, you have a future in radio. Thank you. The voice. You like the voice? That voice, man. I was telling you. That's number one. And number two, we can't talk too much about the fund because it's early. You'll hear more about it. But let, can we just say one thing? There, there's big news coming. There is big news coming. There's a, a very exciting news. There's a partner joining us, and uh, hopefully we'll reveal that soon. Someone I have deeply respected and followed religiously for the past easily five to ten years. Someone super duper talented. When he told me that, I almost fell off my chair. Really amazing. I'm very excited. But when the news does come out, you let me know so we can do another interview, follow-up interview. Absolutely. All right, man. Good yeah. luck with everything. Absolutely. Let me know I can help with anything. All right. Thanks, man. All right, cool. day tomorrow tomorrow I'm emceeing the future of AI conference 1200 participants hundreds of investors from around the world it's going to be a very intense day additionally I'm moderating a panel at the conference and tomorrow evening doing the second Provenar the Prove webinar so tomorrow is going to be downright insane see you tomorrow